Are you keeping a diary? Let's assume that you are keeping a journal or a diary. What would you normally write into a journal or a diary? Well, there's different types, obviously. Some people keep very practical information in their journals. Some people go very deeply into emotional territory. They write their problems, their thoughts, their ideas into the journal for a multitude of reasons. But the main reasons that I've been confronted with in the past were either as an assistance to remember things better or, on the other hand, for the act of writing, writing it off your chest. And both of them are obviously valid reasons to keep a journal. And as I said, there are a lot more, but both of them are so highly emotional and very charged to a point where separating the practical use of a journal or a diary from the emotional weight that it carries is a very difficult task. Now, from my point of view, somebody who writes a journal to write things down, to remember them later on, is putting things into the journal that have a positive charge. So in a way, it's really just a list of things that you've done that have affected you in some way. Whereas somebody who writes things off their chest into a journal tends to write negative things in the journal. And while that is a very useful therapeutical way of dealing with a journal, it may not be the best idea to keep these things around forever. For one good reason. Let's say something happens to you. Do you really want somebody else to read what you've written in your diaries? Especially if it's heavy emotional stuff and things that have helped you work through problems, you do not necessarily want to have other people see this. Now, what can you do about this? Obviously, you want to keep your diaries as long as possible. But what you may want to consider is, do you write for the act of writing or do you act write for the act of reading if you have been writing things because you want to read them again later by all means keep the books and evaluate at some point if you really want to keep them if you don't remember things any other way but if you have been writing things down to let them go and to work through them there is a point to be made to let go of those journals once you have moved beyond the actual problem that you've been writing about. And in that case, I personally feel it would even be advantageous to learn to let go. It's a tricky thing. It's a difficult thing to let go of these. But if you look at older diaries or journals and you find that the issues that you're describing there are really issues of the past, maybe it's time to let them go. Let the whole issue go. It'll be off your mind and you won't be reminded of the bad things in your past. Give it some thought. It's a tricky one, I admit, but you might want to declutter that part of your life as well. Stay clutter aware. Come back again next time. Bye now. If you want more, there are options. Select the eye icon on the top right to visit the website, click the round logo to subscribe to this channel, or select the playlist in the middle to see more content.